Hello all, welcome to Codify with Sonal. Today we are going to do a very interesting AWS hands-on project which is an intermediate level project. It's about a Fortune Teller application. So uh, this video I am making when I saw a project idea given by Lucy Wang that is uh, Tech with Lucy YouTube channel. So she gave really good five uh, AWS cloud you know mini project ideas which you can try try out and also you can add it in your resume okay so please go ahead guys check it out i'll put the link of the youtube video in the description box below so go ahead and do check it out so let's see what services are involved to create this fortune teller application so we'll be using aws lambda and api gateway okay so let's see what are the steps that we have to take so step one, we'll create an AWS Lambda function. Step two, create and set up an AWS API gateway. Step three, deploy your code. And step four, test your code. Okay. I have modified some steps. Okay. Step one, set up an AWS Lambda function. So all the steps that you see in front of the screen, we'll be doing it uh, in the lab, in the demonstration. So uh, you can just, you know, pause the video while you want to try it yourself. That's the reason I'm sharing the steps first. Okay. So what happens is uh, through this uh, Lambda function, you write a code and uh, the code is about creating random responses, which is like, you know, an integer in the form of one, two or three that responds to yes, no or maybe situation. Okay. And uh, that output you return as the response from the Lambda function. Okay, then next step would be to set up an AWS API gateway. So in API gateway, we'll be creating an HTTP API, which will route the get with integrating the Lambda function. Also, as we want uh, the application to take the questions and then respond the answers. So we'll be adding a parameter mapping, which will request the query string and take in response the answers. So step three is deploy your code. So in the API gateway console, you will click deployments and then you will create and select the stage. You have to create the stage as well and you'll deploy the API. And once your API is deployed, you will copy that API URL and which the users will act, use to access the application. Okay. Last point would be to test your code. So like you can use a postman tool like postman or you can simply hit your browser with the get request to the api endpoint so what you'll receive in response is yes no or maybe to each question and you can test it with different questions to check whether the responses are random or not okay so let's go ahead and uh, proceed towards aws console and do this application lab in front of you so here we are in our AWS console. The first thing that we saw in the steps were to create a Lambda function. So let's go to Lambda. You can also search it from the services right side of the search bar. Okay, and go ahead and create a function. We'll say author from scratch and say my function name is Fortune Teller. Okay, and I'm selecting the runtime as Python. That's it. Leave all the things as default and just create the function. This might take a minute. And uh, once the function is created, so what you will see is you will see the code test and monitor configuration, all the things that Lambda provides you. So now as of now, we'll just simply, this is a simple thing. You just have to test it to see whether the function is working correctly or not. Okay. So we'll just say test, see the status code is 200. It says hello from Lambda. So now I'll just replace it with my function code. So I'm just, uh, I've already written it. I'll just paste it over here. It's a very easy fun. It's a very easy one. Okay, I'll be re just replacing this with that. And before that, as I'm checking the randomness and I'm using random, so we'll just import random. Hopefully it's visible on the screen now. Okay, so what we are doing here is we first imported random. 
then we are creating options in the form of one, two, three, and we are saying return random dot choice options. Okay, and the land, uh, lambda handler function, that is the event function, what it will do is, if the option is one, the value will be yes, if two, then value will be no, else it will be maybe. Okay. So that's how and we are just setting up the message with the value and I am testing this. So now before check testing this first you need to deploy the same. Okay otherwise the changes will not be saved. And now when you test this see it's maybe. Now if I click the test again yes. So it is giving random responses correct. So now our next step would be to create an API gateway. So I already have the API gateway open in the next tab and we'll select HTTP API and say build. Okay. Now here itself, we can add the integration or you can edit it later also. So I say Lambda, I'll select my region and our Fortune Teller. Okay. So we'll just add this uh, integration. Uh, sorry. We'll just select this integration and then we'll just name the app as Fortune Teller. Okay, next root now we'll say is that is get resource path and integration target. Okay, here you can just name it as dev if you want. You can just add the stage or else you can just leave it blank and we say create. Now that this is created, now we have not set the parameter. Okay, so go to roots, get and configure. So manage integration. In manage integration, if you come down, you'll see create parameter mapping. Okay, now we want to do it on incoming request. So we'll be selecting incoming request and adding a new par mapping. So in mapping, we say query string dot question okay modification type would be we are appending that and the same as question okay and we say create so this is done now we'll go to our api fortune teller okay this is our url of endpoint of the API gateway and but we need to also add slash get fortune teller the route that we have added right get fortune teller this also we need to add slash fortune teller question question equal to okay I'll show you how we'll do it before that you need to go to your API gateway and you need to say deploy Uh, it is already on auto deploy mode so it is deployed already okay so now if you hit this url you will say message not found why because we have not given our fortune teller so we say fortune teller question mark question equal to sh should you try this lab yes okay now you can just change the some questions saying should i change my job yes okay so you can just if you want you can just hit many times the same question to get check whether the responses are random okay so it's yes maybe okay so this is how this application works. You can try this uh, URL pasting even in the Postman application and try it out. Also, you can just uh, combine this with a front end, which gives you a nice view. Maybe we'll try front end uh, in the next video and we'll link it with this and see how it works. Hopefully, uh, it was useful to you. Please do try it out, guys, because you can also add this into your resume saying that you have built a fortune teller with AWS Lambda and API Gateway. It will give a good impression. Okay.
so do let me know if you have any questions or concerns and also what would you like to see ahead on this channel do not forget to like share and subscribe the channel also hit the bell icon to get a notification of the updated video let's codify with sonal in the next video thank you